Turn in your student books to page 42. You're going to revisit your ratings of the words. Remember, zero is I've never heard the word before. One is I've heard the word, but I'm not sure how to use it. Two is you're familiar with the word, but you're not sure if you know the correct meaning. And three is you know the meaning of the word and can use it correctly in a sentence. I'll give you about a minute and a half to go over those again. Now we will read a paragraph. You will determine which vocabulary words are missing and write them on the lines. Turn to page 78 in your student books. I am going to read the text aloud, pausing at the blanks for you to write in the answers. You will fill in the blanks with the words from the word bank. I will reread the text and you will say out loud the correct word for each blank. Then you will correct any errors you may have made. Let's look at the passage. There is a legend about a giant beast that used to live in the blank in Africa. Scientists went there to dig for the blank bones. The scientist needed to be blank in where and how they dug. With careful digging, the bones blank from the desert. Because they were so heavy, the bones had to be loaded onto trucks using tripods and blank. The nearest blank was 1,000 miles away. After the bones were shipped to Chicago, they were cleaned. They used foam and clay to blank the missing pieces. At last, they had a dinosaur to blank for everyone to see. Now I'm going to read the passage again, and you're going to call out the words you wrote down. There is a legend about a giant beast that used to live in the, in Africa. Scientists went there to dig for the bones. The scientists needed to be in where and how they dug. With careful digging, the bones from the desert. Because they were so heavy, the bones had to be loaded onto trucks using tripods and the nearest was 1,000 miles away. After the bones were shipped to Chicago, they were cleaned. They used foam and clay to the missing pieces. At last, they had a dinosaur to for everyone to see. Look over the words and see if you need to correct any of them. We learned the S ending can make a singular noun into a plural noun and that the apostrophe S ending shows possession. I have prepared a drag and drop that contain plural nouns, singular nouns, and singular possessive nouns. You are going to determine which column you will move the word into. I'm going to give you about four or five minutes to complete the activity. <laughs> 